yes so last time we have studied about varieties of the plants varieties of the substances that are needed in our day to day life and why those substances are extremely important to us what is the major role of these substances in natural resources in the day to day life of each and every individual or each and every living organism residing in the surface of the earth Today we will be studying about the protected areas of our country. As we all have studied that the conservation of the natural resources is extremely important. Yes, last time we studied conservation of natural resources is extremely important to all the living organism. The number of the substances, whether it is the air, it is water or land resources, or the plants and animals that are in the surrounding area. Almost all of the living and non-living components that are found in the surface of the earth as the natural resources is equally important to the human beings. But with the growing number of the human beings, with the growing number of the uh, uh, humans present around the surface of the earth, gradually the forest areas are decreasing. Gradually the forest resources and many more natural resources are degrading. Inside the particular places, we can say as a whole the environment is degrading. The natural resources are degrading gradually. So basically, in order to protect all of those resources, in order to protect the forest area, in order to protect the plants and animals, which are extremely important to us, in order to protect the natural resources that are present in the surrounding area, the government of our country has declared the. Areas as a protected areas of our country. There are basically six different protected areas. Six different areas are declared as a protected area since 1973. According to the Act, DNPW, uh, DNPWC Act, that is the Department of National Park and Wildlife Reserve Act, 1973, there are larger number of the forest areas which has been declared as a protected areas. Prepare the nature to prepare the natural resources to uh, preserve the nature to preserve the natural resources to protect almost all of the wild plants and animals that are found in different places of our country. These protected areas has been made by our government in different places of our country. From eastern region to the western region of our country, in almost all developmental region, in almost all states of our country, districts of our country, we can find at least. The National Park Wildlife Reserve or the Conservation and there are altogether six different types of protected areas in the form of the National Park Wildlife Reserve, Conservation Area, Ramsar Site, and the Hunting Reserve. There are twelve national parks, as you have already studied in class seven or so. There are altogether twelve national parks present in our country. One wildlife reserve, six conservation area, ten Ramsar Site, and one hunting reserve is present. The almost all areas of our country, whether it is the Tarai region of our country, it is the mountainous region of our country, or it is the hilly region of our country, larger number of species, larger number of animal species can be found. As you can see in the slide, the data is and there are altogether 36 different types of vegetation, 1120 varieties of the non flowering plants, 5160 varieties of the flowering plants, and 181 species of mammals, 108, sorry, 844 species of birds, 100 species of reptiles, and many more species of the plants and animals can be found in all different three regions of our country. So we can see Nepal is very, very rich in biodiversity. Nepal is very rich in plants and animal species. But these plants and animal species are gradually degrading from different parts of our country. So in order to protect all of these plants and animals in different Logical reasons of our country, larger number of the wildlife reserve, larger number of the natural of the national parks, as well as larger number of conservation areas have been made by our country, which is regarded as the protected areas of our country. Basically, protected areas are those areas which is set aside by the government in order to protect in order to protect and conserve the natural resources. The areas that have been conserved are conserving the plants and animal species.
conservation of the cultural heritage, the area that helps in conservation of the natural resources, natural heritage within different places of our country. Not only greater biodiversity is present, but the habitat of these plants and animals are also present, uh, protected in the protected areas. Besides these, several other natural resources, several other natural and, uh, natural and artificial resources, including the landscapes, including the cultural sites, cultural heritage of our country is protected with the help of the protected areas. So as we have already studied, there are 12 national parks present in our country. One wildlife reserve is present and there are six conservation areas along with 10 Ramsar sites are also present in different places of our country. First, we are going to study the wildlife reserve. As we all are very, very familiar, there is only one wildlife reserve present in our country. The Kotapu Wildlife Reserve. Kotapu Wildlife Reserve is the wildlife reserve, not only the single wildlife reserve. Before this, before uh, this, there were three wildlife reserves, still class seven, I guess you have studied there where there are presence of three wildlife reserves outside of our country. But now, other two wildlife reserves, except Kositapu Wildlife Reserve, other two wildlife reserves have been converted into the national parks. The areas are bigger, the number of biodiversity, number of plants and animals present in those particular regions are huge. It also comprises huge amounts of natural and cultural heritage in order to protect all those resources properly as well as for the human beings to entertain those resources, for the human beings to utilize those resources without any difficulty, it is declared or converted, or the two wildlife reserves are converted into the national park. Wildlife reserves are basically those areas which helps in conservation and protection of our wild plants and animals. Larger number of the wild plants and animals are present so in order to protect those wild plants and animals within their natural habitat, government has separated our reserved area, which is regarded as a wildlife reserve. Wildlife reserve has a type of area or a type of reserve, a type of places where plants and animals are protected well. Their natural habitats are protected and where the human activities are not allowed. Any type of human activities are not allowed within the wildlife reserve. So these are the areas that are solely protected from the wild organisms, wild plants and animals. No human activities are allowed, no tourist activities are allowed, as well as no scientific resources. The scientific researchers are allowed until it is extremely necessary. The type of reserves, the type of area is regarded as a wildlife reserve. Since we all know there is only wild, one wildlife reserve present in our country, which is the Kosi Tapu Wildlife Reserve. Kosi Tapu Wildlife Reserve lies in the plains of the Kosi River in southeastern Tarai of our country. It lies in Sarai River Power Country near the flood plains of Saptakosi River. The Saptakosi River flows through the Kosi Tapu Wildlife Reserve. So Kosi Tapu Wildlife Reserve lies in the lies in the Sarai region. It's the Sarai region of our country and it lies in the flood plains of Saptakoshi. Saptakoshi River. This particular wildlife reserve was established in 2032 Bikram Sambar, India 2032 Bikram Sambar, for in order to protect the wild species of plants and animals. The plants and animals, Kosi Tapu Wildlife Reserve was established. It covers a very lesser amount of area, very, very, very lesser area is occupied by this particular reserve that is only 175 square kilometers of only 175 square kilometer so we can say it occupies a very lesser amount of area in comparison to the other national parks or other protected areas besides this it is not the smallest wildlife or uh, smallest protected area there are several other smallest protected areas in different places of our country so basically kositapu wildlife reserve was established in 2032 become number of 1900 and AD. It occupies area, very lesser amount of area, and it also comprises of a particular buffer zone. 
within the territory of the Kositapu Wildlife Reserve, we can find a small area, very, very small area can be found where the human settlement can be seen, where very little amount of human activities can be seen. But inside the, inside the, uh, uh, inside the periphery, inside the core region of the wildlife reserve, no human activities are allowed. So basically, this resource, this wildlife reserve helps in protecting larger number of the plants and animals that are present within the different places of our country. Basically, it is the habitat of wild buffalo. Larger number of the wild buffaloes or not can be found in this particular region of our country. It is the smallest wildlife reserve. It is only the wildlife reserve and before this, before this there were presence of two more wildlife reserves. So it was regarded as the smallest wildlife reserve, smallest peripheral area where larger number of plants and animals are protected. Similarly, this area is the habitat of the wild buffalo. Besides the wild buffalo, larger number larger number of other species, plants and animals, also can be found in this particular region. Similarly, it is also declared as the Ramsar site. This particular region comprises of the wetland. This particular region comprises of the wetland. So the wetland that is present in this region, the Kositapu, Kosi wetland, Kositapu wetland, is listed as in listed in the Ramsar site. It is of greater importance. The wet wetlands also help in holding up larger number of the biodiversity, larger number of the plants and animals, which is of international importance because of this. It is declared as the Ramsar site and then it is protected by the government. The Kositapu Bank, the floodplains of Kositapu Bank, as well as the plants and animal species found in the particular region is closely protected by the government of our country. So besides these, there are other several... Okay. So we can find the additional information basically here. Yes? Ma'am, is Ramsar site uh, wetlands? Yes, Ramsar site are the wetland, are the areas such as uh, the National Park protects the uh, natural heritage, cultural heritage, wildlife preserve protects the plants and animal species within their natural habitat. Similarly, the Ramsar site particularly helps in protection and conservation of the wetland areas. Larger number of the wetland areas are placed present. Start place as in where larger amounts of plants and animal species are found. So basically, wetlands are those areas where the biodiversity is Use huge amount of plants and animals can be found, so they are of the great importance. They also are the uh, source of water supply to larger number of places. That is why these areas are uh, protected, and there are larger number of such wetland uh, areas present within our country. Out of which, three different wetlands are protected with the Ramsar site. Yeah, so basically, Ramsar site are those kinds of sites which are the protection of the wetlands present in different places. Of country. So basically, as we can see here, the climatic condition of this region, as it lies in the Tarai region of our country, the climatic condition is very extremely high, the temperature rapid disintegrate, as, and this particular region, basically, what you need to know is this particular region basically comprises of a larger number of plants and animal species. Huge number of plants and animal species are found in this region, and those flora and fauna, those plants and animal species are basically protected in this region. Basically, since it is the habitat of the wild buffalo, the wild buffaloes are protected in this region. Besides that, besides that, several other varieties of the plants and animals, such as deer, wild boar, spotted deer, blue bear, rock python, and many more species of plants and animals can be found in this particular region. Now, next one is the national parks. As we have already studied, there are larger number of the national parks found in different regions of our country. Altogether, there are 12 national parks. Altogether, there are 12 different national parks found in different regions of our country. Namely, you can see here the list is given Chitton National Park, Bhatia National Park, Bhakti National Park, Sagarmatha National Park, Langsang National Park, Khapkar National Park, National Park, Sukla Sata, Persa, Purapuri, and Makaluburu National Park. So, all together, 12 different national parks can be found in different regions of our country. There is a list of national parks that are found in different places of our country. So, since we have already seen 
studied can i ask you what is the oldest national park present in our country can you tell me chito national park chito national park is basically the oldest national park found in our country chito national park is the oldest national park found in our country similarly which one is the largest national park country the oldest park which was established in 2030 Vikram Sambad. The dates we are given here are all given in Vikram Sambad. So, Chittor National Park, since it is the oldest national park, it was established. It was established way before other national parks. It was established in 2030 Vikram Sambad. It covers total area of 932 square kilometer. Yes, someone is raising yes. hand. Prabhas. Prabhas. Is there any problem, Pravesh Thapa? Ma'am, mistake. Mistake. Okay. No problem. So, it was established in 2030 Vikram Sambad, and it occupies the area of 932 square kilometer. It lies in three different districts of Narayani zone. That is, Chitwan district, Makwanpur district, and Parsa district of Narayani zone. The Chitwan district lies in. Chitwan district lies in. Chitton, Makwanpur, and Parsa district of Narayani zone. It is the oldest national park, and it is the habitat of larger number of the species. We can find the habitat of larger number of the species in this particular region. Especially, it protects very very rare species of the animal. Yes, Manjila. Manjila. Ma'am. Yes. चितवन नेशनल पार्क से पहला स्टैब्लिश भाग चितवन नेशनल पार्क से टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी वन में ओल्ड हेरिटेज में लिस्ट भाग नाम अरियन सगरमाथा तो टू थाउजेंड थर्टी टू में स्टैब्लिश भाग सगरमाथ नेशनल पार्क से चितवन नेशनल पार्क भाग फर्स्टमें ओल्ड हेरिटेज Chitwan National Park is the oldest national park, which was established in 2030. Sagarmatha National Park was established after Chitwan National Park, but it was listed in the World Heritage Site before Chitwan National Park because of presence of world's highest peak, that is Sagarmatha. Clear? Yeah? Rasik. Yes, Rasik. Rasik. Rasik Mandari. Mistake. Yes, okay. So, Chitwan National Park is the oldest national park. As I guess we are going to continue this only today. <laughs> Chitwan National Park is the oldest national park. It was established in 2032 Vikram Sambad, and it lies. It occupies the area of 932 square kilometer. It grows or it covers the covers three districts of Narayani zone. That is Chitwan. Then. What are other districts? Makwanpur and Parsa. Chitwan, Makwanpur, and Parsa. These three districts are occupied by the Chitwan National Park. As your friend has already told, it is listed in World Heritage Site by UNESCO. When was it listed in World Heritage Site by UNESCO? 2041 BS. 2041 Vikram Sambad or in 1984 AD the Chitwan National Park was listed in the World Heritage site this park comprises of huge amount of ecosystem or diverse variety of the ecosystem can be found in this particular region we can say larger varieties of the habitat found can be found within this particular region there is presence of the smaller lakes smaller ponds are present within this particular Of the national parks. Besides these, there is also presence of the damp areas, wetland areas are present. Similarly, there is presence of diverse varieties of the ecosystem. So this particular region comprises of huge amount of mammals, huge amount of 
other plants and animal species. To be precise, there is 68 mammals within this particular region. Within only Chito National Park, we can find about 68 different mammals. Similarly, 19 different varieties of the reptiles can be found. 543 species of the birds can be found in this particular region. There is also presence of the this Hazari Tal, which is of greater significance that can help in diversifying the ecosystem of this particular region. So, a main, the main animals that is protected in this particular region is the Bengal tiger, which we previously called as the Royal Bengal tiger. This particular region was established for the protection of the Bengal tiger at one hundred rhino. As the number of these Royal Bengal tiger at one hundred rhinos are gradually decreasing, so in order to conserve these Royal Bengal tiger at one hundred rhino, this particular national park was established in the very, very beginning. Beside these several other varieties of the bird species, 543 uh, species of the bird, eight different species of mammals, 19 different species of the reptiles, and many more other organisms can be found protected in this particular reason. Yeah? Similarly, there is another national park that is the Birdia National Park. And I guess, okay, Birdia National Park. So, but Birdia yes. National Park lies in Birdia district. As from the name itself, we are very clear. Birdia National Park basically lies in the Birdia district. So, when was Birdia National Park established? Can anyone tell me? Yes, when was Birdia National Park established? Birdia National Park was established in 2045, become Sambad, and it occupies the area of 968 square kilometer. This national park particularly lies within the Birdia district, as it has very, very lower amount, low, uh, sorry, this particularly lies within Birdia district. Like the Chikon National Park, it also protects larger number of the plants and animal species. But the Birdia National Park basically comprises of huge varieties of the flowering plants. Larger varieties of the flowering plants can be found in this particular region. Altogether, about 835 species of the floral plants can be found in this particular region, which provides the habitat for larger number number of the organism. The area that is occupied by the Birdia National Park that is 968 square kilometer, it helps in protection of larger species of the plants and animals. Larger varieties, at least about 53 species of the mammals can be found in this region. Similarly, 23 different species of the reptiles and 407 species of the birds can be found in this particular region. This protected area also helps in conservation and protection of the Bengal tiger. The Bengal tiger, that is one of the rare species of our country, is also found in this particular region. So, this region also oh. has protection and protection of the Bengal tiger for Bengal tigers so that its number can be increased, that its number can be increased without any difficulty and help in conservation of these. Species conservation of the Bengal tiger and increasing the number of Bengal tiger in this particular region. These reasons, both the National Park, the Chitur Park, Birdia National Park, these all are the, both of these are very, very uh, popular, fam uh, famous for the jungle safari, as we all are very familiar about. Yes, this lies in the Pakistan country, so it is dominated by the Haru culture and Haru people. So, this national park not only protects both Chitur National Park and Birdia National Park not only protects the plants and animal species, but it also helps in protection of the cultural heritage, cultures of this particular region. The cultural tribes, the Tharu tribes, tradition of the Tharu tribes are protected within this particular region. Whenever the larger number of tourists visit these regions, one of the attractions for the tourists to visit these particular regions are the Tharu cultures, Tharu traditions that can be seen in both of these National Park, whether it is a Chittur National Park or it is the Birdia National Park. So any problem up to here? No, ma'am. Sure? Yes. yes another National Park. Before I start another National Park, I guess I'll have to send some link to you all. Yes. Sending you the link like you have opened the link in the 
exam. Again, yes. I have been doing this. This is a far country as well as it is also the rare species of our country. This national park was also established to increase the population of wild Bengal tiger within the different places of our country. All three national parks, that is, Chitwan National Park, Badia National Park, and Bakri National Park, all three were established with the main objective to protect the population of the Bengal tiger to increase is the population of the Bengal tiger. It was shown it was found on that and for expansion of the habitat increase the number of the Bengal tiger, we require we require habitat. We require more habitat for the Bengal tiger. So ma'am yes it is ma'am what is our amount you will get don't worry you'll get you'll get in Google classroom okay don't worry about that. So first of all, listen. So to increase the number of the Bengal tiger, we need to increase or we need to expand the habitat of the Bengal tiger where they can roam freely, where they can get the food materials, where they can get the get those habitats, those places where they can get those materials that helps in increasing their lifespan. So in order to expand the habitat, Bakri National Park was established to provide the to provide with this. Please don't talk. Please don't talk. Please don't Please mute yourself, Sulab. So, to expand the habitat of the Royal Bengal Tiger, the Bakke National Park was established so that the migration of the tigers will be safer and there can be the natural migration route, natural migration area for the Bengal Tiger. Beside this, beside the Bengal tiger, it also helps in protection of larger number of other species. The main motive was to protect the Bengal tiger, but also helps in protection of other larger number of uh, animal species and plant species. Different varieties of the herbs, at least about, about 120 different trees can be found in this particular region. Similarly, larger number of the herbs, larger number of shrubs, and many climbers can be found in this particular region. Besides this, the 30 different other species of the mammals are also protected in this particular region. Similarly, 11 different types of rare mammals, not only the common mammals, but the rare mammals can be found in this particular region. Rare mammals, rare birds simply means that those organisms present in our country, but their numbers are very, very late. So, Parky National Park has been Preservation and protection of those rare species of plants, rare species of mammals and birds. There is presence of at least 11 different rare species of the mammals protected in this particular region. Similarly, 50 plus, 50 plus rare bird species are protected in this particular region. This region is also very, very famous for the jungle safari. A number of the tourists visit every year in this region as it also comprises of larger authentic traditions and larger authentic cultures are present in this particular region. So, along with the protection of plants and animal species, it also helps in conservation and protection of Conservation and protection, larger number of, larger amount, larger amount of the cultures and traditions that are prevalent in different places of our country. Do you have any problem up to you? Uh, no, ma'am. Yes. So, have you all filled, have you all filled the form? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so and what you do you yes. So your, yes, homework, your homework for tomorrow is to basically draw the write the name of the national park, when was it established? Yes, when was it established? What is the total area occupied? What type of plants and animal species are protected in this region? Write it in the tabular form as I showed you. Ma'am, you will also post that question. Yes, I'll post it. Okay, ma'am. Okay.